Driving a car will take some getting used to, but whether you're a novice or an advanced driver, I will help you to bypass wasted driving lessons from instructors, saving you time and money by showing you exactly how to drive a car. What is a car? A car is a mode of transport helping you to get from point A to point B, and sometimes to point C. There are many different models of cars available, but generally they are all driven in the same manner. From the point of view of the driver, they compose of seating, a steering wheel, mirrors, brakes, accelerator, gear stick, handbrake, a clutch for manual drivers, and a cup holder. There may be many more add-ons that come with the car, such as air conditioning, satellite navigation, and a cute pink bow for the gear stick. Please be aware that you might have to pay extra for these additional comforts. Where can you get a car? Now that you have established what a car is, the next step will be to find one. You may see them on your local roads or neighbor's property, but unfortunately, they will belong to someone else. You will therefore need to get your own car by paying for it perhaps online or at a car dealership. Once you have the documentation to allow you to drive the vehicle, the next step will be to learn how to drive it. How do you drive the car? The first thing you are going to want to do is to ensure that there is fuel inside the vehicle. Most cars use petrol or diesel, so if you are not sure, you'll have to experiment with different fuels until you find the best one for your car. Modern cars also run on electricity, so if this is the case for your car, please ensure you bring some extra Duracell batteries with you and a plug socket just in case your car is low on battery. Next, you'll need to get inside your car by using the remote key, physical key or crowbar that the dealership provided you with when you purchased the vehicle. Next, you'll need to check your rear view mirror. Make sure to do lots of different poses in the mirror to bring out your narcissistic nature. If you cannot see yourself in the mirror, please don't cry. Just adjust it until you become visible. You will also need to adjust the side mirrors on the car as they are used to check for approaching cops. Next, you'll need to switch the ignition on using the physical key and turning it until you hear the car making noise. Make sure to put on your seatbelt while seated if one is provided. If your car is stationary on a hill, you'll simply need to release the handbrake by pressing the button on it and pushing the lever down. Then you can allow gravity to take the car downhill and simply just move the car left and right with the steering wheel as you continue traveling downhill. This is the basic form of driving. What is the advanced form of driving? If your car begins on a flat surface or inclined hill, then there is a bit more work involved to drive it. If your car is an automatic, you'll notice two pedals by your feet. One of them is the brake pedal. That is used to slow down and stop the car, which is particularly useful if you're about to crash into a tree. The other pedal is the action pedal, also known as the acceleration pedal. It is used to make the car move forwards. On the side of you, you should see a gear stick. You will need to move it from P to D. Then slam your foot on the action pedal and you will drive forwards. It is important to slam your foot as hard as you can on that pedal if you are on a steep hill or you are in a hurry. The more vigorously you slam your foot on the accelerator, the faster the vehicle will go. You will need to multitask by keeping your eyes on the road and turning the steering wheel accordingly to keep your vehicle on the road. If an obstacle gets in the way on the road, such as a moose, you'll need to slam down on the brake pedal and wait for the moose to pass before moving on. Once you have reached your destination, have turned off the ignition, taken off your seatbelt and got outside the vehicle, locate a piece of wood and put it behind the wheels of your car. This will save you time having to move the gear stick back to the parking position and applying the handbrake. Then the next time you want to drive, you'll be able to get away much quicker from the outset. When you are driving, it is important to avoid steering your car onto the pavement or sidewalk. Doing so could be harmful to your car and possibly pedestrians. And if your satellite navigation tells you to go into a ravine, 
you should probably think twice and find an alternative route. So that is the complete guide showing you how to drive your car. Hopefully this tutorial will save you much time and money when it comes to doing your driving test and officially being allowed to drive your car on the road by yourself. I thank you for watching and look forward to seeing you on the next video. See you later. Mm.